All right, we're here today. We're going to be installing the Givi top box for my Tiger 900 GT. This is a uh, the Givi plate that goes on it, and then I got the adapter specific for the 900 GT uh, bike, which will go back here. So stay tuned as we install it and go over some things, uh, some things that are important that some people don't realize that you have to do with this. So uh, stay tuned as we get this installed. Here we have the uh, the Trekker. This is the what is this? The 30 liter. 30 liter. There is this is the 30 liter. Givy. Um, I got it in the aluminum. I think that looks good. And then, of course, we have the plate. This is the uh, mono key plate. This is the M8 or M8A for the aluminum version. Um, we've got the screws that'll screw in there. And then we've got this, which is specific to the Tiger 900, um, the mounting plate, which will go here on this, which those are 12 millimeter, I believe. And then you have these spacers here, which I've seen other guys install this and they just put the spacers anywhere because they do look like they're the same size. But if you look at the instructions, you're actually, they're off by one millimeter. We've got 20 millimeter and 21 millimeter. So we're gonna separate these guys, the 20s from the 21s. I'm sure probably really don't see a difference, but I wanna make sure we do it right. So we're going to put these in the right spot. And here, as you can see, they are different. These are the 21s. Here are the 20s. So there is a height difference. 21s go in the back. 20, uh, the 20s go, I should say the 21s go well further back, closest to the seat. And then the 20s go closer to the tail end, closer to the, the license plate. Let's start out by taking these off. These are 12 millimeters. Twenty ones go back here in the twenties, and you got the washer on the bottom, then the lock washer on top. Maybe they don't give the torque specs. Just do them. The German Guten type. Just enough of those lock washers to lock in place. Probably should be instructions, right? I see you got those two there, and this comes. Uh, there it goes. I don't know if you had to have it unlocked for that to work. Oh, there it goes. Oh, all right. No, that, it just wasn't snapped in all the way. So with the unlock position, comes up, locked. If it's locked, that doesn't press. Yeah. I'll give you this. This kind of flops around in there. I don't like. I'll probably just do some double-sided tape just to keep that secure. I would like it to be more secure. They don't give you any double-sided tape. They give you these up here, which are nice if you wanna do the uh, the webbing, which they sell separately, the, the netting, I should say. You could put up there to store more stuff. I'll probably just, I might even have my own netting from other stuff that'll probably cut and put to size instead of buying theirs. But it opens and closes pretty easily here. Unlock. This is what it looks like on the bike. I'll try and get a better view outside. I mean, in the garage. Let's see if I can zoom out here. There we go. And which is nice because now I have this rear seat is free. When I had the bag on the back, my tail bag, uh, tail bag, even though it was on there, it kind of hung a little bit over here. So if my wife rode, kind of had to push the tail back a little bit more. And also if I wanted to get to the phone charger underneath or anything underneath, uh, which I, where I keep my you know, insurance papers, I would have to take the tail bag off so I could pop the seat up. And now I don't have to, that seat is free and clear. So otherwise it looks 
really good. And the install, as you saw, was very easy. Not much to it at all. Um, I like the size of it, not too big, not too small. And I like that I can also upgrade and do a bigger case and just pop it off and pop it on if I'm going on bigger trips. And also I like the fact you've got these tie downs too. I could always take another bag, tie it on top of there. I got my Kemimoto bag over there on the floor. Even have my tail bag there, I could probably even mount uh, and put on top of that as well for a little bit more storage if I do go on a longer trip and need more instead of actually getting a bigger uh, box. This box might be okay for now, uh, definitely for you know running to the store and grabbing stuff and and you know just even throwing stuff in to go to work, throw my laptop in, whatever. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for the install for the Gibby uh, top case here. Like I said, very easy to do. Uh, you just wanna make sure those spacers that you do put them in the correct spots. The, the 20 millimeters go up front, the 21 millimeter ones go in the back, and it is hard to see that there's a difference unless you look at them right from a you know, flat service right on them. So don't get those confused. Other than that, install is easy. This is on here, you know, nice and tight. Good quality case. I like the build quality of it. So, hey, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for tuning in.